Split was on my top 5 movies of 2017, and ever since I finished watching it, I was really hoping that it would get a sequel to that ingenious twist ending. And once I found out that it was, I was so excited. And I don't usually get excited for M. Night Shyamalan movies, but he is coming around as a more competent director in my opinion. So there was a lot of talk about what the sequel was going to be, and now, we have finally got a trailer for it. But before I talk about it, let me tell you very briefly what I thought about Unbreakable. The movie itself I thought was just okay, and that's exactly what me and my brother said after we both watched it. Strangely enough, however, little did I know that the best part of this film is when you just talk about it. The very next day, I told my sister about the premise in detail, and she actually thought the movie sounded interesting and really cool. She wanted to give it a watch, but having known what kind of movies she likes, I immediately had to tell her that the film is not as energetic or as interesting as my descriptions of it. And that was my main issue with the film. It had the potential to be a great movie to watch and talk about, but it just ended up being great to talk about. Not to mention that M. Night Shyamalan, for the longest time, really used to get his actors to deliver their dialogue in an uninterested and dull fashion, which I never had a liking for. Thankfully, he made the character interactions in Split a lot more natural and fluent, and I was able to enjoy it a lot more as a result. So, with that said, what are my thoughts on the Glass trailer? First off, I really like the way it looks. It is incorporating a very similar cinematography to what we got in Split, but it's much bigger in scope and not just confined to a single bunker anymore. I also like the direction that the story seems to be going. Mr. Glass is the villainous mastermind and is plotting to get the Beast to come out and wreak havoc and show all of humanity that the super-powered villains of this world exist. David Dunn seems to be pleading that he doesn't go through with this plan, but he clearly goes through with it anyway because we soon see him fighting the Beast. Now for me, the most concerning part is when you see David Dunn in water. For those of you that remember, Water is essentially his kryptonite, so he is in some serious trouble right here. Also, it's cool that Casey Cook is back and is actually able to interact with McAvoy's character, but how she will exactly play a part in this, I have no idea. This seems like a movie that is perfectly set up for these three to participate and take part in, but she just feels like the odd one out. So I am really curious to see how M. Night is going to incorporate her into the story. So yeah, it looks very cool, and I can't wait to see it when it comes out on the 18th of January. This will actually be the first M. Night Shyamalan movie I see in the cinema, so I hope it's good. And who knows, I might potentially do a two-way or three-way versus video of the movies. So, lots of stuff was revealed in Comic-Con, and I'm going to give my quick thoughts on as much as I can before making my next versus video. So, I will see all of you in the next one. Take care.